in nine seconds and one mil. Yeah, just a great feed from Adverse right here, and then Samba off the air. Wow, that was that's that's UTA for you, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty quick start. Yeah, that's why I give the honest assessment. This team is is really really good, and you know my thing with UTA is I uh, I don't think I've really seen them play like a good team yet this season. Uh, but I, I, I'm scared for when they do, right? Because I, I think RIT and Connecticut might be close, but I'm also scared that Arlington might just be better than those two as well. Absolutely. Next week, UTA will go up against Kinesius. Uh, then they also have University of Colorado coming up as well. So I think Colorado is pretty solid, in my humble opinion. Um, well, who else? What? They also have, and then they'll close out uh, Christmas break with Wichita State. So definitely a pretty easy schedule for UTA, to say the least. And a pretty easy that, goal man, here. Just look at that. Look, no, genuinely, look at this. Reset. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Just, just sure showing off the air. Sick. Absolutely sick from Adverse. Uh, yeah, UT have quite a nice schedule. Like, I don't, I don't see anyone on there who's really going to get in trouble. I think Colorado might be kind of close. No, I don't think it'll be close, actually. I think Colorado maybe will score a couple goals, right? The like, Colorado are quite an aggressive team. I, I pass the ball around a lot. They're, 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 they're okay at the game. Um, they're probably the toughest team on that schedule, right? I'd have to agree. I mean, we've seen a little bit of greatness like that from adverse off the beat from samba but yeah i mean they close out with wichita state who have given some schools some schools a run for their money in a little bit in those games but i think we still know the result of that one too yeah we talked about delaware and where they possibly stand we, we kind of saw that delaware weren't able to kind of go and go and win a game go and dominate a game and uh, this, is, this is exactly what I was talking about. Look, look at Arlington. That person is nuts. These goals have all been highlight real quality. This angle is extremely tough. And just casually pops it in. Just a nice pass from Samba, too. Or a nice speed. Then Adverse able to just bank it in. Second goal or third goal from Adverse? One of the two. <laughs> I've lost count. Of We're going to lose quite a lot of times. Well, here's another goal from Adverse. This time off the feed for Sim, not even getting a chance to think. And just like that, Adverse scores once again. He is, is an insane player, and is, I don't know, I, I don't know how really we can call this. Iron are, are not a bad team, by the way. They have a three and one record. They have a positive record, and not just a both positive record. I know they lost to Fairfield last week in their downward trend, but UTA are just very, very, very good at the video game. Now a great clear from Samba, and now we're at three minutes left. They had five, UTA scoring five goals within the first two minutes of this game here, and it's just, you know, going up, doing this against some pretty solid teams as well. I mean, yeah, don't sleep on Iona. Like, after... This week, you know, they'll have some time to practice. Going into next week, and they also <coughs> scored right here. That was Sir Stoney now getting Iona on the board. Yep, shot she by Samba. Stoney as well as makes it awkward for Sin as they try to clear. Good job from Sir Stoney. Good goal. That'll, that'll, be, that'll be a nice confidence booster for Iona, won't it? You know, Iona uh, are not a bad team at all. I think they had a really bad week last week. I think, uh, I think we were casting that game. It was poor from them. But they are actually quite a good team. That was a good goal. I think that reflects kind of what, what they kind of deserve so far in this game. Here comes DJ. Opportunity for them. Samba does well. I've been able to make the pass into the goal. And now Finn's going to just take over things here for, I believe, for UTA. Their mascots, I believe their mascot name is Blaze for UTA. And, you know, obviously there's a horse, but I don't know if that's a Bronco or a whatever. Mustang, something like that. I'm, I might just have to ask them. But, 
great, great start, great mascot for for UTA as they blaze through this matchup. Yeah, we, we don't have the mascot thing here over in the UK, so um, I, I, I hear like from everyone in the US, it's like a massive thing in, mm. in, in the US and in Canada as well, right? Um, it's called, called by like the mascot. Yeah, I mean, NBA basketball team in Toronto, they're the Raptors, and obviously here in America for football and basketball, I'm a Chiefs fan. Now, we got it, yeah, but yeah, you're right, like, mascot's not really a thing, like, Chelsea and what else, Man City, you guys, doesn't sound like you guys have mascots for these guys, which is pretty cool. Pretty different. I actually think it's cool that, you know, like, you know, a lot of them are animals, right, in, in the US, for the most part, and you kind of signify with an animal, I think that's really cool. No, it's cool, cool different strand just to, to, to talk about. Um, anyways, UTA have been dumping so far. Ayana, to be fair, have had a pretty good share of possession, they've been passing the ball all right well. Um, out, of, out of goal, you know, a lot of teams can't really say that they scored against UTA. But sometimes, adverse, it just scores. Like, sometimes you just can't prevent it. Indeed, and just the, the aerial control he's got under that is just, wow. Yeah, I just, speechless. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful work of art. Indeed. Trying to take the ball forward. Uh, you know what I like from Iron actually, is they haven't really, like, Play down, I think. Good goal as well from DJ. 6 2 here. You know what? This hasn't been bad from them. You know, they look like they're playing with some confidence as well, right? They're going to go and try and take on a UTA player or two, right? They're going to try and think, make things difficult. And I can really respect that. Now, 17 seconds left to play. I think it's safe to say that it's pretty much UTA's game here. Uh, obviously, you know, we have at least, at the very least, two more games to go through after this. Possibly maybe four more, unless, you know, UTA says otherwise and just gets the sweep. But, from what we saw, UTA will take it and adverse with the MVP ball hogging ability of him. And 8-13 in total score. Holy cow. Yeah, five goals, eight, eight shots. Adverse was absolutely crazy. It's, those goals were of real quality as well. The fourth one, uh, I said the first one they scored, I think a flip reset in there, front right on top of the ball, good goal. The fourth one, I think was the one from the left-hand side into the top left corner, really difficult angle. All, all goals are real quality as well. I think Adverse is a terrific player. And Arlington are caught up with Iona, but... I know, I know it was quite harsh on Iona last week in the performance against Fairfield. But, you know what, hands up to hands up here. They, they've been good this week. You know, they've really put an effort to try and challenge UTA. They haven't been able to. But the fact they're going at it is really respectable. Yeah, adverse just by himself outscoring the entire, or outshooting, excuse me, the entire Iona team. Definitely obviously did outscore them. Uh, five, five from him and then two from... The entire Iona team, so definitely going to be leaning on him there. Also has an assist and eight shots, so definitely getting cracked here for UTA. But game two, let's see if Iona can have a really good answer. Wrong. Ooh, DJ. I was about to say wrong answer, and it was Samba that was correcting my wrongs. DJ, suddenly. The pressure is always relentless for UTA. See, they, they always also have this gear that they can kind of go... They kind of normally play in, like, forward with gear UTA, right? And then they have this level that they can go up to just to go and get a goal, or a level of pressure. Not necessarily, like, another level to their game. But, like, pressure-wise, they can go and put pressure on the ball, uh, like, in, like, six gear, for example. And that's something that a lot of teams don't have. They normally have a very consistent level of pressure, right? You will your marry is usually always level eight on the ball, you know what I mean, right? They, they, they love to pressure the ball. Other teams will like to sit back and have like a level one type of pressure thing. William Mary, or sorry, not William Mary, UTA can mix it up a lot, and I think I can really get behind that. I think it makes you a lot more difficult of a team to play against. Absolutely. Now 
we're seeing more more pressure from QTA almost got a score there but it was blocked forgot who it was Stoney blocking Samba though so the defense starting to show up for Iona maybe transition that of a black transition that into a goal not gonna happen DJ just shooting a little bit over the top that looks like an exciting beautiful shot making me lose my making me lose my sense of speech but so far UTA holding holding it down on the defense and trying to transition this into some offense okay god first is a player as well like they do the simple things right, but also have that extra class where they can go and, and score goals like they did in the previous game. I like that. I like, you, you know, a player, you know, you could do as many skills and tricks as you want, but you have to do the simple things right. And I think Adverse takes those boxes. DJ able to prevent a goal there almost looks like an sin. Just wasn't going to happen. It looks like Iona has been kind of keeping Adverse in check. Ooh. And DJ... With a near, near shot, near goal. Yours, so what that shot from DJ. If that goes in, it's 1 1 in this game after what, two minutes play? I know, been really good this game. They've been better defensively, they've, they've kind of cut a lot of the passing lanes out and made things difficult for UTI. Um, a lot of interceptions made from Iona. And, and UTI, I mean, not that UTI have, have struggled at all in this game, but they definitely you know, haven't got forward enough. Here's Adverse once again. We thought he was being held in check. He was just taking a little rest here, and now he's back to work making some goals. Yeah. Every single touch in that goal from Adverse was perfect. Every single touch in that goal was perfect. Everyone! Um, yeah, very impressive. Adverse just continues to impress. But yeah, still was a whole game for me. I know that, you know, they could have been level, they, they've had a go. They've cut a lot of passing lanes and made things a little bit more difficult offensively for UTI. I said that actually that UTI haven't been attacking enough. So they've been attacking a bloody a lot, right? But they, they definitely haven't been as offensively good as they were in the first game of this series. And I think that's more of Iona just being better in the midfield. Now under two minutes left to play, Iona's still looking for that shot. JP D Zilly. Trying to make a shot, just wasn't quite able to sink it in, just because of the ad the uh, adverse defense or UTA's defense. But DJ trying to make a shot here too, blocked by Samba. Seeing some Iona pressure here, but now it's going to go back into the hands of adverse and UTA. And oh, almost could have been a shot there from Sin. Just some defense able to. Knock that ball out of course and just a few demos, but didn't demo adverse and that made them pay. Oh, fake from adverse. I think I saw a player over commit for Mana. 3 0. Um, again, not just UTA's quality is showing, but adverse as an individual, I think, uh, so I think she's absolutely, been absolutely immense. Really strong player very unique skills in, in their game to go and get a goal and uh, uh, be a really elaborate goal to score. Every single touch of them is usually perfect. They do the simple things right. Really like Adverse as a player. Definitely probably one of the top play definitely one of the top players here in EGFC, not just here in UT Arlington, but in the entire EGFC Rocket League scene, if not arguably the best you know i don't know quite how if like we have like pro esports teams around but he could definitely he can definitely join a pro esports team here if he chooses to just because of his skills and capabilities probably gonna win a whole lot of tournaments sometime here too just because of his sheer ability on the ball no i being not say accent i completely agree I mean, some of these collegiate players don't really choose to kind of pursue, like, what they got outside of collegiate, which is, which is fine, their decision, whatever. If I was... If I was anyone close to Adverse, I'd be saying just go for it. This, this kid is very, very good. Another... And you know what? 
Like, they stand out on a team of excellent players. Samba and Sin have been absolutely excellent. I've made no mistakes, either of them, in this game. Yet we're still just talking about ad first. Uh, being so good. So, so good. And then the player that stands out, they don't even have the most points on their team. Samba, who's also excellent, I think, should also pursue, pursue the next level. Those two players, and Sin as well, they're all very, very good. Um, look, we talk about the quality of Arlington all day, but Ayana, again... Could have went level at some point in that last game, and that's definitely stuck toward, especially from last week, which I think everyone can kind of agree in and around the Iana Cup, and everyone watching can kind of agree that last week was not good enough for that. It was not Iana College standard. This week is, is better. We've got a difficult game next week, but a winnable game. If they can take positives from this game and learn from this game and go into next week and then be at a 4 2 record, they'll have a really good chance of getting with a positive record to the winter break. Absolutely. And, you know, they still have one more game to, you know, UT Arlington still needs to win this next game up here. So Iona still has a chance, but from, you know, kind of just the pace where we've been saying it looks like it's going to be all UTA here, uh, you know, but definitely don't want to count them out yet um, for Iona because, you know, still a pretty, pretty good school here. Possibly. I don't, I'm not sure if we'll see uh a playoff appearance from them but you know just a lot of stuff they can work on i believe this is also their first uh appearance here as an esports program you might have touched on that last week uh, or at least they're relatively new um good goal there from from uta nothing really much to discuss good good read from sin when it comes to Iron, I think playoffs is, is definitely reachable. I think they've got a positive record already, which is going to help them. Uh, but I think next week's game, you know, it's what, it's Bowling State Green? Uh, Bowling Green State. Uh, that, that's a really important game for them. Because I think Bowling uh, Green State is going to be a pretty, pretty good team. I think they're going to be sniffing around the playoffs as well, probably similar level. If they can go to that game and get a result, then they might be able to talk about playoffs. If they don't, then they've got to prove a lot more than they probably think they do to get, a, get in with a chance of playoffs later on in the season. Uh, I think the Christmas break will definitely help with that, but I think next week for Iona is a really important week to not only go and get a win, but also assess where they are as a team. For sure. Approaching four minutes left to play, and just quick fact-checking myself, it is indeed their first uh esports program it's their first time being an esports program here but uh, and you know just for their first time being four and two that's pretty pretty solid for some first time for a first time program you know they're going up against pretty tough schools like they are right now and fairfield's no scrub as well so definitely losing to some of the best but also beating some of the best as well nearly getting a nice goal here but adverse able to get a nice save see where that goes good ball in samba could be a better pass i think uh, samba was already up in the air probably should have been a better pass uh but look uh Iona, again first year i mean they'll, they'll be three and two after this but have the ability to go forward and two. i think that'll be a real statement for now if they do go and get that win good shot there from it's dj really good save from man first i think against any other player that goes in it's just ad is on another level today Adverse pretty much winning all matchups. That comes his way, oh. and Stin gets out beat by Sir Stoney. And now we have a tie game, and Iona's not ready to go home just yet. Level game from Iona after two minutes. Extremely impressive. A little bit more than I expected out of them. Very good. Really, really good ball up from Sir Stoney. I'm not necessarily sure if it has the intention of being a goal. But the intention is to make things awkward for Sin, and that it was. It's not a 2 one Oh my goodness! JPD Zilly kidding Iona the lead. And now, 2-1 to one Iona. They are starting to come to life here. Well, then. Uh, the game on our hands here all of a sudden. Iona, I mean, they can kind of sit back a little bit, defend their leads. It's going to be difficult to defend their lead against Adverse, who is going to be very creative in their offensive play. Samba as well, both of them. Same good touch there, Samba. Good touch away from Sir Stoney. Uh, you know, there is actually a possibility here of Iona holding them to OT. 
or holding the for for the win here. It'd be interesting to see how they approach this. I, I would I would I would play defensively here. Uh, I I know UCA is a very creative team, and if you sit defensively against a creative team, you could cause problems for yourselves. But I would just go for it. This is your chance to get no win against UTA. Gotta be super super aggressive. Not a lot of schools can take a set off of UTA here. There's definitely a few, but we'll see if Ion can join that club of taking down a set off of UTA. And who knows? I'm not, I'm definitely not claiming this will happen, but maybe a reverse come from behind win. Amazing from Iona, but you know, a man, a man can speculate. I thought, I thought if they can get a game against UTA, that would be a massive confidence booster. Good shot. Oh, sin. From Samba. Look at Samba just juggle this. He's like, I'm going to score. I'm going to score. And here comes that's such Sin. A pass. And that, that's intended as well. They are intending to stall that until Sin is ready to say, that's my goal. Brilliant from Samba. Um, Mrs. Kickle there, though. I don't know if that was intended. Now, first gets that away. Chance here. Cleared away well by Adverse. Yeah, Adverse just waiting for that to come his way. Just to be able to clear it out. But yeah, that looks like a pretty good wide open shot from Iona. Maybe they can get another one, but Samba able to steal it. And Sir Stoney is going to take some aggression out of Samba. And DJ gets a nice epic save here, denying Adverse the goal. Samba just carrying this over into Iona. But now Stoney clearing it into UTA. Now we're going back, just going back and forth again. Oh, almost a shot. And Stoney once again off the feed from Z And Iona's trying super, super hard. And it's hard working. Hard work is paying off here. There, there have been some mistakes from UTA in, in this game three, right? No. We're not going to take anything away from no discredit at all. Two points in this uh, in this game. They've been leading against UTA, a team that is a top three team in the, in, in this EGLC, guaranteed. Oh, and that is and enough adverse. for me to say I and I have improved a lot from last week. I am so so intrigued to see how it goes next week. UTA bring it back to three three, but for me, I, all the boxes have been ticked for my owner today. They've went to challenge UTA. They've went to made the game close. They've been in the lead at points. Been very impressed by Anna today. For sure. Did just make that little bit of a mistake leaving Adverse wide open by the goal. That's one player you don't want to leave wide open. But Iona's showing signs of life and aggression as they try to drive it into UTA territory. Five seconds left. And now Sin's trying to take it to the other way. Ball needs to hit the ground for overtime. Looking like a shot could happen for UTA. Very, very close. So I'm going to try to get the winning goal. The clutch epic save. Going to send this game here to overtime. And Iona's really challenging the champs here. A little bit nice. 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to try and clear this away. Samba. Oh, and this in. Oh. Samba again! Nice oh. dolting! Good clearance. Iona's now really focusing on their defense here too, making sure no silly mistakes happen. But adverse a little bit too high and all oh, a self goal here from the looks of it. Stony with the save. Now they're just stuck on defense here. They just need to find a way to flip field here. That they do. DJ trying to oh, no. score. Like oh this. my goodness. Oh no! And adverse seals the game. Just some blown coverage. I don't know who it was. I think it was Stoney. Yeah, it was Stoney. Just couldn't beat adverse. The pass was in the JP, was it not though? Just missed it in the air. I'm not sure actually it was. And it just drops down to add first. Good goal from our first. Really good. 
I, I don't know, really good position. They go and get there, get in behind the defender and get the goal when the mistake is made. Good good, good job from Alvarez to capitalise. But to be fair, I know, you know, what a heartbreaking way to lose that, right? You you finally get into an overtime situation. UTA, who are a top three team right now, uh, I, would, I would put them at number two. Right? I'll put them at number two. Mm-hmm. I think... Oh, do I think Connecticut are better than them? Connecticut could be better than them, but I think RIT are better, and I think Connecticut third. That's where I think the teams are at right now. I own it. Man. Fair play. Fair play. And that's really unfortunate the way they lost that game three, but well done. Give it all you got. Especially after having a really bad week against Fairfield last week. To pick it up and go close to UTA, well done. Yep, definitely showing signs of some vast improvement from last week. Um, as they go into next week, I'm definitely expecting to see a different result from Iona. 